welcome back this is Ivana Dame if you haven't met me before I'm a nurse from Southeast England we provide uh, we discuss and I provide information about uh, UK nursing how to become a nurse here in the UK accommodation in the UK or uh, visa processing uh, what is the process of becoming a healthcare support worker here so if these topics interest you in any way please consider subscribing you can also press the bell icon so you don't miss any uh, upcoming videos of mine and if you are returning viewer i would like to see a big thank you uh, for your support for your efforts for your comments and likes i really appreciate your efforts guys so let's dive into the today's topic and uh, today's topic we are going to discuss if you are uh, expectant mother if you are going to deliver a baby here in the uk and um, how long uh, do they keep you in the hospital if it's a normal delivery and how long they keep you in the hospital if it's a c-section so this is all we are going to discuss in this video it was a, a, a video topic recommended by one of my viewer and uh, this video is for her if you uh, if you want me to make any videos of your choice let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to make any video for you guys so if we talk about normal delivery in the NHS if you don't have any the most important thing we need to know is before we go further in the video uh, the most important thing we need to know is it totally depends on your health condition uh, if you have hypertension if you have eclampsia preeclampsia or if you have um, uh, cholestasis or the gestational diabetes or uh, hypertension so anything can affect your timing uh, or your stay in the hospital so uh, if everything is normal if you don't have any underlying health condition if you don't have any problem uh, throughout your pregnancy or the weight of the baby is fine the growth of the baby is doing growing the baby is growing well the growth is all right and uh, your health wise uh, as a mom uh, your health is uh, in good state i would say i mean you don't have any hypertension you don't have diabetes or you don't have any other conditions if you you don't have any other underlying condition then obviously the timing the stay in the hospital would be less uh, that days you, they keep you here in the hospital will be like very very less all right but if you have any underlying health condition the duration of your stay in the hospital can prolong so it's entirely up to your on to your uh, health condition everybody is different everybody's uh, process of becoming an um, becoming a mom is different and um, of course if it's a normal delivery they will not keep you long in the hospital they'll keep you only for one day yeah you heard me right they keep you in the hospital only for one day uh, let's say you deliver the baby in the morning and then tomorrow morning they'll discharge you right uh, but throughout that day they monitor you they monitor the baby and uh, uh, then the following morning this you stay in the hospital for that day you stay in the hospital for that night and then the following morning uh, the doctors come around they ask you if everything is all right if you want to discuss anything if you have any problem and um, you can discuss it with the doctor and they also check for the baby in that time they check the hearing test of the baby they check uh, the baby if you are from india or pakistan or bangladesh nepal they check for the joints levels also uh, they also sometimes they do um vitamin k injection there also and also the pediatric consultant she comes around he or she they come around and they check your baby for each and everything they check their eyes uh, their body movement legs hands um their ear test they we have already talked about it they do the hearing test also there in the hospital and um, if if something is pending for your baby they will not discharge you but if the, even if they don't have any consultant available or if they don't have a hearing team available they can refer you to the, your gp or your um health visitor also uh, they can refer uh, you to the health visitor also so the health visitor um, if you have normal delivery they'll keep you in the hospital only for one day all right in simple but if you have c-section if you have a cesarean section most importantly they try to do a normal delivery as much as possible they try their best uh, for you to deliver a baby normally uh, normal means vaginal delivery okay even c-section is normal it's not a big deal but uh, normal delivery means uh, vaginal delivery and they try their best to do it 
and if not possible or if you have any underlying health condition or the growth a baby is growing like uh, dramatically uh, the size of the baby is big or a baby is overweight uh, they'll tell you in advance that they want to do a c-section or if you have gestational diabetes they'll tell you to come over um, beforehand uh, mostly in 37 at 37 weeks they ask you to come to the hospital and they'll try to induce you okay induce means they will give you some medication they'll give you uh, the injection to start the contractions all right and um, even for cholestasis they ask you to come to the hospital at 37 weeks for cholestasis and they they induce you at that time if you have gestational diabetes then also they ask you to come at 37 weeks if you have uh, eclampsia or preeclampsia then also they ask you to come to the hospital because in these situations in eclampsia preeclampsia they check your um, they check your um, urine test and your blood pressure every day almost like uh, for um, three to like one week before the delivery or one week before the 37 weeks also they ask they check your uh, they monitor your blood pressure and urine test for proteins regularly to see if there is any rise or something so before my delivery one week they checked my blood pressure and it was coming like 130 by 90 but i usually have like a 110 70 or 160 my blood pressure is always on low side so two times they checked and it was 128 by 68 or 130 90 so they started me on medication on hypertensive medication antihypertensives they said because my usual is low so if it's 13090 according to my body it's high so they started me on tablet <laughs> a little bit lol they asked me to take the tablet two times a day and then i was feeling very sick with that tablet i mean uh, i was feeling like uh, i was feeling very lethargic and sometimes i would feel dizzy or um it was not all right but uh but every time i went to the hospital i bought a bp machine also i was checking it at home so every time it was like low blood pressure but they said it's fine just continue it we want it to be on the lower side so if you are struggling to maintain your blood pressure if you have high blood pressure then they will monitor you continuously before your delivery so these are the underlying conditions which can uh, vary and uh, they can delay your uh, they can um, uh, they can uh, um, they can keep you in the hospital for longer uh, hours but if everything is normal you went through normal delivery everything was all right your blood pressure was in control your blood sugar was in control everything was fine then they will just keep you for one day and one night and the following morning they discharge you but if you're going to have a c-section it's totally different case um, so in the c-section mostly they give you epidural uh, they give you injection at your back uh, to sedate you and also to minimize the pain to reduce your risk of having a uh, bad bad back or bad uh, uh, body aches in the operation theater or they don't want you to be in pain so they give epidural but of course with your consent they ask you if you want to have it or not so most people they just get the epidural okay injection at their back to reduce their pain right with the epidural uh, the chances of getting c-section is high uh, and uh, when you go for c-section they keep you in the hospital for uh, like let's say you had a c-section this morning you will stay in the hospital throughout the day by the end of the evening they ask you to walk around if you can manage to walk around that evening on your first day <laughs> well and good but if you're not managing if you have any other problem or you cannot manage to walk your mobility is not good then they'll keep you till this till uh, they'll keep you for the for another day so on second post of day you just walk around you go to the toilet by yourself you sit you take care of your baby and um, then they will discharge you on that day so in that time they monitor you continuously if you have c-section they monitor you they assist you to go to the toilet uh, they provide aid uh, for the mobility also and mostly if you have c if you have uh, epidural they they insert you a catheter also so you so you don't need to go to the toilet on your first day so they insert a catheter also so you're having catheter you're lying on the bed for one day all right and by the evening if you feel like you can walk around you can manage to walk 
well and good and then the following morning they can discharge you they don't keep patients for long whether you have normal delivery or c-section maximum two days maximum two days all right unless unless there is a problem unless there is a problem with your blood test results unless you uh, lost a lot of blood in your uh, operation theater uh, then they may need to transfuse you then they can keep you for longer hours but if they, everything went smooth then they don't they're not going to keep you for long so two days max uh, for us we stayed three days because my baby had uh, joined us and they for every asian like uh, from uh, people from india pakistan nepal bengal for our risk for joined us in the babies is high blood ribbon is high and they always test the baby for that and uh 90 of out of 100 babies they have joined us here in the uk so don't worry if your baby gets joined us they can just keep you they will just keep you there for one day so every eight hours uh, they test the baby for joined us they do the blood test uh, blood test heel prick for the babies it was horrible i'm oh my goodness my my baby was crying continuously and he would never stay never stay in the cot uh, with that light on because uh, if they have joined us then we put the baby in the uh, phototherapy right in the incubator with the light on uh, without clothes just covered with covered eyes so it was so difficult for him he, he was not staying in the in the court uh, like oh, he was crying and crying and crying they moved our bed three times because my baby was crying and at first our bed was just close to the counter and uh, the midwives they were not happy for us to be there because the baby was crying continuously we couldn't do anything because we had to put the baby in the cot in the incubator for the uh, for the phototherapy so they moved our bed to the side room and then they can still hear him <laughs> they can they could still hear him so they moved us again to the other another room uh anyways so we stayed there for one uh one day one and a half day with for his phototherapy so every eight hours they were doing the heel pricks and uh, testing if everything is all right if the levels of his uh, blue ribbon and jointless level is fine then they'll discharge they discharged so on my uh, so we were there for three and a half days but what happened on my second day i was feeling uh, i was shaking my blood pressure was low my heartbeat was very uh, fast heart rate was high so i was not feeling quite right i was shaking continuously so she did my obs the nurse she did my obs and she said everything's fine uh, just uh, you're just worried uh, try to calm down but i don't know I, I was not able to control myself i was just shaking and shaking and shaking so they kept us there for another day and uh, because they wanted to monitor me but everything was fine afterwards it was just one episode so anything can happen when you are in the hospital uh, i cannot give you the exact figure for how long they're going to keep you in the hospital but if it's mostly normal delivery one day one day and one night c-section two days max two days and one night all right uh, but if there is any problem with the baby or you the the duration of your stay in the hospital can vary so it depends on your situation depends on your health condition it depends on the on different factors it depends on your blood loss as well or your recovery after if you get uh, anesthesia if you get uh, epidural it can it, it can uh, delay your process of being discharged also so uh, i hope Hope you find this video helpful and uh, i really appreciate your efforts and uh, i really appreciate if you sh share this video with your friends and colleagues who are already here in the uk uh, or you who are expecting expectant mothers and uh, good luck if you are going if you are pregnant it's a difficult process i know i know i gained so much weight i was uh, 63 kgs and then after delivery after I know before my delivery i went up to 89 kgs can you imagine 89 kgs oh my goodness <laughs> it was too much and after the delivery i lost um 10 11 kgs and um, and still i am big i am still 80 kgs <laughs> so i don't know i don't know i don't know what i can do i'm just trying my best uh, but i'm not doing uh, strenuous exercises or workouts at the moment because i don't get enough time but i will try my best to lose weight after after maybe two or three more months i'm still my in my resting phase just want to relax just want to keep my mind calm uh, no stress 
just just with my baby <laughs> can you hear him <laughs> he's there in his cot playing with with his toys and uh, good luck uh, my new mom uh, mom to be um, you, you'll be fine don't worry it's gonna be all right everything's gonna be fine just uh, just pray and um, always uh, keep uh, your uh, energy positive just always uh, um, sometimes what we do is what I was doing is I, I, I always keep something just my bedside whenever I'm hungry I'll just take uh, or eat something it helps it helps even at night i was getting this heartburn so every night i would just keep a uh, one uh, cup of milk just my bedside and whenever i feel the heartburn i'll just take a sip so uh, if you want to know more about the tips and tricks if you're struggling with anything pregnancy symptoms let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to share my story with you all with all, all of you guys and if you're struggling with any symptoms of pregnancy let me know i want to know your symptoms and i want to share my story also of my symptoms in the next video till then take care bye bye god bless and good luck good luck uh, you will enjoy your company you will enjoy the company of your baby it's amazing feeling honestly honestly when you look at the baby the first feeling i can't explain the first feeling is the best ever feeling in the world guys so good luck my new mom to be take care of yourself bye bye